Hello, I'm Dr. Fani, JNCO, Department of Radio Diagnosis from GMCH Chalankabha, and I'll be presenting a case report on Clipper Cardinal Syndrome of the upper lip. I'm presenting a case of 50-year-old male who came with complaints of prominent vessels of the right upper limb and right side of chest and back region, which was present since childhood. He had no history of trauma or no family history, and other limbs were normal. On local examination, the patient had skin discolorations over his upper limb, right chest, and back region with no elevated temperature. As per the clinician's request, we performed a CT angiography. On the arterial phase, we observed that the bilateral upper limb arterial system were normal. This is a 3D reconstruction image depicting the same. On venous phase, on CT venography, we observed multiple dilated tortuous venous channels in subcutaneous plane of right arm and forearm. This is the coronal and sagittal reconstruction images showing, again showing the subcutaneous dilated tortuous venous channels. The video the same showing dilated tortuous venous channels in the subcutaneous plane of the right arm and forearm region. Also, we can note that the deep venous system appears hypoplastic. Type tuft of tiny tortuous venous channels are noted along the course of the brachial artery and which is eventually draining into the axillary vein. This is a 3D reconstruction image showing the, the multiple dilated tortuous venous channels over the right upper uh, arm and forearm. On this image, we can see there's a mild hypertrophy involving the right upper arm and forearm. Also, the mild hypertrophy of the right arm and forearm muscles are also noted. Also, we can see the visualized radius and ulna when this image appears to be larger as compared to that on the left side. USG Doppler of the patient was done. On Doppler, the dilated vascular channels noted in the subcutaneous plane was noted to be dilated venous channels. Uh, and also, the deep venous system was not well appreciated, which is suggestive of hypoplasia or aplasia. On the basis of these findings, limb overgrowth syndromes can uh, commonly have four varieties. Papen Fernandez syndrome, Park Weber syndrome, Love syndrome, and Proteus syndrome. Gloves, which is congenital lipomatous overgrowth, vascular malformation, epidermal nevi, and spinal anomalies are immediately ruled out as lipomatous hypertrophy of the uh, limb is noted, which is not observed in this case. And Proteus syndrome, the uh, hypertrophy increases over time and it is not present since birth. Capillary malformation are present in uh, both Clipper Trinai and Park Weber syndromes. But is differentiated on the basis of the vascular malformation which is present. On in Clipper-Trinai syndrome, it is usually venous or low-flow uh, vascular malformation, whereas in park Weber syndrome, it is arterial venous or high-flow vascular malformation. In this patient, there is port wine stain uh, indicating capillary malformation, low-flow or venous malformation in the form of varicosities, and bony and soft tissue hypertrophy of the right upper limb was noted. And hence, the diagnosis of clipper turner syndrome on the right upper limb was kept. A brief discussion regarding the clipper turner syndrome. It consists of triad of cutaneous capillary malformations uh, in this patient seen as port wine anyway, and limb overgrowth, which may be bony or soft tissue hypertrophy, and varicose veins or venous malformation with unusual distribution. The diagnosis is usually made when any two of these three features are present, and there's a prevalence of 1 in 100,000, including the related syndromes, and it is majorly the cases of lower limb. In this patient, it is of a column which, uh, which are very, very rare. In CT angiography, the superficial varicose drainage, uh, drainage is seen as described previously without a normal functioning deep venous system. On MRI, detuated MR images may show malformed venous lesions as areas of high signal intensity. MR imaging shows deep extension of low flow vascular malformations into muscular compartments as well as bone or soft tissue hypertrophy. Regarding treatment and prognosis, application of graded compressive stockings or pneumatic compression devices to the enlarged extremities are usually preferred, and which is done in our patient. Percutaneous sclerosis or superficial varicosity of, of superficial varicosities or stripping of very superficial varicose veins are usually not preferred, as uh, deep veins are usually hypoplastic in these cases. Surgical treatment like epiphysiodesis and uh, is done to control the leg length discrepancy, and excision of soft tissue hypertrophy can also be. Complications include uh, thrombophlebitis of affected limb, venous thromboembolism, gastrointestinal or genetic urinary hemorrhage if there is visceral involvement, and capillary malformations are large enough, they may sequester platelets leading to Casablanca syndrome. 
this comes up to quadruple. Thank you.